I'm gonna show you guys some great personal websites, explain to you guys why they're so good in the first place, and then I'm gonna teach you guys how you can implement these tactics into your own website. Now, if you guys are new here, my name is Arna Ross, and I'm a freelance designer trying to teach you guys how to become better designers as well. Now, if you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe and stick around for more content just like this one. So the first website that we're gonna check out here is CameronSaggy.com or Sage. I'm not really sure how you say his name, and I'm sure we're gonna butcher it, but that's okay. So the first thing we see here on the landing page or the, the main here, Hero is a very, very simple site. And one of the benefits of this video is that you're gonna see a couple different sites and different tactics on, on how to build these sites. Because if it is a personal site, you can really build it in a lot of different ways. You can have different things, but mainly you want the same info, right? You want the same the same meat in the website. So this website is very work heavy, right? You've got all of these projects that are, are really good. You've got some great clients. You've got Yamaha, Target, Kellogg's, you know, all of these, all of these clients that are world known. And so what this person is trying to do to showcase their skills through these clients that are already very well known in the world. And although they are doing this and it's working really great for them, you should keep in mind that if you don't have these kind of clients and this, this world renowned clients, then maybe it's not the best idea for you to use this tactic. A couple things with this site right off the bat is I haven't seen any testimonials. And again, maybe you don't really need them if you have these clients, right? But keep in mind who your clients are, what they do, and if they are even known at all, because although some people do have really well known clients, some people might not know who those clients are. So over here, we've got this info tab. And if you scroll down, we've got some words about him, just a little about some of the clients that he's worked with, and then just a little bit of his history, some of his awards. And again, this guy is probably a very good designer. And so he has the work that speaks for him. And that's usually how it should be. But again, if you don't have those clients, then it can be harder to do that. Now on the next site, you'll see something that's completely different. This guy's website is williamzabamedia.com or .co. And it's, it's a completely different website. And and I'll explain to you guys why. Now this website goes the complete different route that the that the last website went, right? He's got a lot more words, he's got a lot more testimonials, he's got a lot more social proof within his website. And that's part of his strategy and that's that's a good idea in most cases. And I'll explain to you guys why. Now, if we scroll down, we see that we've got three different projects. We've got three different colors that changes as you scroll. And then some of his YouTube videos here that I've also known and watched. And then down here, you've got a CTA. You've got a very easy way to, to get in touch with this guy. And then also that he's a Webflow expert. Now over here, we've got all these different tabs. We've got projects. We've got about me, inspiration, and then a journal. And so this is more the, the more regular way to do a personal website, right? Right? We've got the projects, we've got testimonials, we've got a little about me section, and that's more relevant to what he's doing rather than a very work or project heavy website. And in most cases, that is a good idea because if you don't already have a huge list of clients and you're trying to use this website to get clients in the first place, then you want to use words or, or tactics or whatever you want to call it to sell yourself and to explain to people how you can build a website for them, how you can sell them images or whatever you want to do, illustrations. And so in this case, this is exactly what this person is doing. You see, we've got this little title here. This is how I leverage design as a business tool. And he explains his strategy and how he can actually build a website for you. Now, again, this is a very one, two, three, four kind of website, and it explains how he would build a website for you. But again, if you're going to build a website that the main purpose is to get you clients and to get you work, then you want to explain a little bit about how your work is done and how your work could benefit others and why they should even trust your value proposition. Now, going on to the third website here, we've got owltastic.com. And this person is also a web designer. All of these people are web designers. And this website is, again, completely different from the previous ones that we've seen. And that's kind of the point, right? We want to see different websites here. And this person takes a different route. They go more the mystical, creative way rather than just a one, two, three. This is how I do websites. This is what my work is like. And that's also OK, because this person is showing their personality. It's showing what they're about and how they can build websites. And part of their portfolio is the website itself, right? It's the website that they've built. And it shows exactly how they, they build websites, right? We've got this animation going on here. We've got a picture of them. We've got this illustration illustration in the background. So we know that this person can build websites just by the website itself, right? It doesn't need to be a very portfolio heavy website. But then again, if we scroll down, we see that we do have some portfolios. But again, it's not the main point of the website, just like we saw in the first one where we had all these different projects here, right? It's not the entire point of, of the website. The point is the person who they are, how they are and what they're like. If we want to, we can then click on it and it takes us to a dribble page 
which we don't want to open right now, but you always can see these person's projects, right? However, if I was going to prove one thing on this page, it would be just to showcase your projects without having to go to an external site. Just have it on your site. It lives on there and then you don't need to worry about dribble collapsing or whatever, right? It always lives on your site. Then if we scroll down some more, we've got some recent articles, which again takes you to an external link. And so I'd prefer if it was just on your site and then how to get in touch with you. Now this block of, of links is fine, but again, it's not as good as the as the previous one where you just knew how to get in contact with the person that you had. The email, the name, the, the estimate budget, you know, everything was there. It was ready as the perfect lead for you and you didn't have to do any more work really. It was all there for you just to get started. Now the last one here is Strack cats.com or strax strax I can't really say the name but this is a digital agency and so it's not really a personal website but it's it's similar in the way that that they plan their website which is really great so over here we've got the value proposition or or what they do who they are and then again we've got a very portfolio heavy website and then as we scroll we've got a logo cloud which for some reason gets blurred when you scroll over it. And then again, we've got weird problem solvers, right? A little bit about them. And then we've got more about the projects. So again, they showcase a little bit more about who they are and what, they are, what, what they're what they trying to do, rather than just starting off completely with their projects and what they do, right? And then if we scroll down some more, we've got some of the benefits. And this explains a little bit more about the value for money, the extension of your team, flexible and experience, and then some testimonials, right? So you're relying on the social proof of your past clients to really sell yourself and to explain to others why they should hire you in the first place. So as you scroll down some more, we see a little bit more about how they work, right? They do sprints. Okay, now we know what they do and how they do it. And then here's some success stories from those sprints, maybe, you know, so this is, again, more of my preferred way to to build a personal website or an agency website. You've got some of your portfolios, uh, you know, three to five projects is best. And then within those projects themselves, you've got your own personality, you explain how you built them, you explain a little bit about the process that it took you to get from maybe the research, the planning to the final product, you know, you explain how the sprint to help solve the XYZ problems. And that's really part of it, right? That's the point of the website. You want to help sell yourself and maybe using words is, is easier than just having an insane portfolio with Kellogg's and with Yamaha, you know, all these crazy brands, you know, using words and explaining how you do things at times can just be just as good as a portfolio itself. Now I'll leave all the links in the description so you guys can go and check them out. If you guys wanna check out my personal website, then it's also in the description. Be aware though, it's still in progress, it's still in construction, so it's not all done yet. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.